I did not expect it. I, uh, I'm a very Eeyore-like personality. <laughs> I always think that uh, things are not going to turn out for the best for me. Uh, I'm very happy. It feels great. It's really exciting to be up there and look it out at all those people, especially when you recognize them from TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it feels outstanding. We worked really hard this year, so it feels like a, a, a hard-fought battle, and we're really excited about it. We, you know, the day is pretty jam-packed, as you can imagine. We get in, we do our best shot of what the show might be very early in the day. The grants the daily show, so we do that each day. But John is more than willing, and it's, an, it's quite frankly intoxicating and really invigorating to kind of give it another go in the afternoon, and then even right after rehearsals to basically rewrite the thing from scratch because he knows that he wants to make the best show possible at the moment that we tape it. And so we will do our best to, in late in the day, tweak and refine. But I will also say that we have the benefit of, of being a show that will be on the next day and we're not relied on to be a 24-hour cable network, so we can take a breath and analyze it with some, hopefully, uh, aplomb. So if things break too late in the day and we know it's too big to do, we'll wait for it to the next morning and then try to get our best hooks into it. And are there uh, news events that are too downbeat or depressing that you can't touch, like what's happening in the Middle East? Uh, as far as humor goes? Yes. <laughs> but there are, uh, there are often ways to find the story around that story uh, to illuminate something about it. There are sometimes stories that it does not feel right to do humor about, but uh, there's something going on usually that we can make fun of for not being right. So I think we can do that. Um, and also, like I said, we have the benefit of being a half an hour show. So we can only put so much into the show. It's a huge funnel of information. We have a small nozzle of truth to put out there. Uh, so we do our best to try to find the thing that will serve us the best in what we do our best, which is analyze either the news of the day or the news itself. That doesn't mean we have to do 24 hours of coverage. So we're in kind of a nice cherry position on that front. It's something we take advantage of. Um, but we try to address the big issues of the day, even if they're sometimes difficult. But we, like Elliot said, we have the, we have the privilege to, or I should say the, the, yeah, the privilege to be able to uh, pick and choose what we might discuss or wait a day or two to find the angle that might be the best for us.